Ah, hello there, and welcome. I hope you don't mind, but I just need to do a couple of things. Then we can have a jolly good chinwag. So, you're using the cursor. A fine choice. In that case, can you help me water my plant? There's a jug of fortified London water on my dining table. Select the floor with the cursor to make me walk. Brilliant! Now let's pick up that jug on the table. Select a command below, then select the jug. Good idea. Linda loves London water. I think it's all the incidental fertilizer. Right, let's give Linda a drink. Select use, then the jug, then my plant. There you go, my darling. Excellent. Now, where did I put my pocket watch? Oh, yes, my grandfather's old watch. Funny thing, time. Sometimes are good, others best forgotten. Let me tell you about a time that I'll certainly never forget. It all started here, in London. Uncle? Uncle! Where the blazes is he? Oh, he's probably gone out looking for a good time again. <laughs> It'll be his undoing, mark my words. Let's see what the mad old culture's been up to lately. Roderick Bandersnatch's good time formula. My secret blend of essential oils, quartz crystals, and animal parts has resulted in success. Harnessing the body's natural circadian rhythm to trigger a transformation. Senses and animal magnetism are heightened between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. daily, guaranteeing a good time for the host for 12 hours every day. On subsequent pages, I've written the formula to reverse the effects, if desired. Looks like he's already knocked back half of it. I bet he's out there right now, trying his luck with the local strumpets. The Randy Galoot. I guess it's safe to give it a try. What's your problem? Oh well, down the hatch. Oh, good heavens, it tastes like rancid sloth awful. Uh-oh, I don't feel so good. Cripes. If this is his idea of a good time, would no wonder my aunt left him. I don't like this. I need to find the recipe for reversing this formula quickly. Hair of the dog. The effects of this formula are limited to between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. daily. Well, that explains why I look like this right now. If I want to wait for the effects to come and go each day, I should probably use my grandfather's old pocket watch. Ah, here's the recipe for an antidote to my uncle's formula. Hmm, uh-huh, yada yada yada, right. I need to boil up water, opium, and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. Hmm, I can hardly wait. It's for soaking up spills. Absolutely, these things will always be popular. It's empty. Okay, then. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. 
He smells like my uncle. It's my uncle's walking cane. Weird, he normally takes it with him when he leaves the house. Why not? No one else is using it. It's my uncle's violin. It's so old, the strings look like they might snap off at any moment. I don't need a window. Yippee! Well, this is a step up. Who said that? I say, dear boy, you can understand me. That must be down to your unique situation. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Hugo. To thank you for being my new lodgings, I'd like to offer my assistance. You're a, a louse? How can you help me? Oh, <laughs> I'm not just any louse. Let me show you. I've been watching your progress with great interest. I've even been making notes. Just tap on me in the top left of your screen to view them. Let me show you my notes so far. Catty boy. Oh, and a word to the wise. Don't be standing too close to the other lice in that cage. We've all been keen to stretch our appendages recently and you could end up getting infested. Some of the circus lice just crawled onto me. It's a sea of red poppies. Now, that's a smell I won't forget in a hurry. It's an oak tree. That big branch looks handy, though. Okay, then. It's good old Queen Liz and her faithful pooch. No water. Hmm, I guess it hasn't been plumbed in. Probably just as well. I'm unsure where it would come out of. like that. Do it again. <laughs> did, uh, did you just sniff me? Not recently. Don't come near me again, you piffling fawn boggler. Why would I, you mankish guff snatcher? Spuff weasel. Piggle stick. It. I don't think that's hair tonic. Don't do poppies. Damn pretty they may be, but the opium extracted from these harmless white posies can cause both life-stifling fear and soul-stifling shame. <laughs> Absolutely. You're much safer with a nice pint of absinthe. I don't think that's hair tonic. It smells like... people. It's closed. That looks just my size. And that's curious. I wonder what it's for. It smells like fresh meat. They smell a bit like shaving foam. I'd love a nice full fat pie, but I can't talk to anyone in this state. According to my uncle, the effect of his formula should wear off at 8am each morning. 
I could always use my pocket watch to pass the time until then. At least then I could talk to people. Today's special, locally sourced lean meat. I prefer greasy pie myself, and those quotation marks put me off a bit. There's a warning. Please check your pie for sharp objects, razor blades, or fragments of bone before consuming. Pfft, health and safety gone mad. It looks like the glass encasing the lamp is broken. I'd need... It looks like the glass encasing the lamp is broken. I'd need something very long if I wanted to interfere with it. They're just my size. And this one doesn't smell familiar. This one smells like those poppies in the park. I'll take this one. I wonder what will happen if I wind it forwards. I feel funny. I'll wait for the formula to wear off. Ah, the sunlight on my baby soft skin. It sounds like I'm only going to stay like this until evening. I'd better mix up the antidote quickly. I'll use the pocket watch whenever I want to pass the time. Hello? How's the sweetie business? I'm offering a free menti bummer to every customer to try and get rid of them. Can I have a free sweet? They're in a bowl. Only one per customer. What do you do at night? This place turns into a juice bar. I oh, offer free samples of those too. What free juice samples do you have at night? We have an arsenic cleanser, a cyanide buzz, and a regular poppy juice. Problem is they all look the same, so it's, it's a lucky dip. Bye. See you later. Don't mind if I do. I always wanted a proper moustache. Well, there's no way anyone will recognize me now. Don't mind if I do. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't think he recognized me. This moustache is getting itchy. I'll leave it here. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. Felicitations, Mrs. Figgins. No off. What pies do you have? Lean meat only today. Why do you have a bonnet like that in a kitchen? It soaks up sweat and pie grease, although it does make it treacherously flammable. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs. Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. Where does your meat come from? It's all sourced very locally. I'm in the mood for a greasy pie. That all depends on the meat supply. If you don't like what we have, you can sod off. Bye. Final stop, chaps. Meet your tasty new host. Oh, me head's itchy. Feels like there's a ferret in me bonnet. Better let me scout breathe a bit. Okay then.
Gently, gently. Bugger, one of the strings snapped off. He's not a happy guy. What's wrong? My betrothed has left me. Why has she left you? She found a better man. Was he of a less porcine stature? Absolutely not. My barber craves substantial love. No, it was his beard, his luscious, scented, manicured, exquisite beard. I just couldn't compete. Why don't you just go and get your beard trimmed? I can't be seen out on the street like this. I'm a wreck. Just dry your eyes and get yourself to the barbers. I don't have a handkerchief to wipe away my bitter anguish. Bye. It was nice to talk to someone. Here you go. Dry your eyes with this. Why, thank you. Right. I'm off to have my beard beautified. Goodbye, kind stranger. I'm not... Hello there. Good day to you, Mr. Bandersnatch, sir. Good day to you, Urchin. Ain't gonna be an Urchin for much longer. I'm in the regional finals of Ragamuffin Idol next Friday. What's Ragamuffin Idol? It's the national competition for waifs and strays to show the world their skills. What skills? Poloining, misappropriation, pilfering, and good old-fashioned delinquency. Oh, good luck. You'll get my telephone vote. What's a telephone? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure I said that. What are you doing? Offering food scraps to those further down the social ladder than myself. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. Park life, eh? What are you talking about? May I have a go? This is the last of my precious bird seed, you know. Please, may I have some of your bird seed? All right. In exchange for an equal token of self-congratulatory altruism. You come again. Give me some sweets. Oh, I see. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bladderpetch, sir. You're going to have these if you give me that bird seed. All right, fair's fair. It's nearly all gone anyway. You drive a hard bargain. That guy from the bench is in there now. I think he's hoping they take the whole lot off. Oh great, now I'm all big and hairy again. I need to sort out the antidote, and fast. Okay. I'll tie them together with this violin string. 
Lovely. I've covered up its knob. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. Felicitations, Mrs. Figgins. No boff. What a precious little dress you have on. Why, thank you. You're looking absolutely radiant today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, stop it. These pies smell absolutely divine. May I try one? I'll think about it. You're truly glowing today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, you. Please, may I sample one of your pies? Oh, go on then, you little charmer. Just check it for sharp objects and fragments of bone before you eat it. Yummy. It smells a bit like that guy I met on the bench earlier. Hang on. There's something metal sticking out of my pie. My goodness, that could have been nasty. Okay, now the bonnet's all greasy. Okay then. Walking around with this inside my trousers is going to be a delicate operation. Okay then. It's chunky, but it's not the dirtiest water I've seen in the city. That should help filter out any solid matter. Okay, in it goes. Oh man, this stuff honks. Look at that, crystal clear. I'm still going to boil it in the crucible before drinking it though. Here, yeah, boy, don't move. Got some of the old boy's hair. In you go. It's just got poppy juice in it. It needs more ingredients. In you go. It's full of water and poppy juice, but it's missing a final ingredient. In you go. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I think it needs more heat. Right, here we go. Nice, but I think it needs to be hotter. In they go. Now the fire's really going for it. Right, let's try it out. Quiet, you! Hey, this doesn't taste too bad. Uh-oh. Well, this is just dandy. I did try to warn you. What the dickens? You can talk. I can talk. You'll get used to it. Wait, Uncle, is that you? What the devil is going on here? Well, this is a bit embarrassing for both of us. I just need to go and see a man about it. Well, you know. I'll be back in a jiffy and I'll explain everything.
Dunkle? Dunkle! Oh, I have a bad feeling about this.